as well as the Arsenal-Leeds game, a game which includes a knockout punch, which we captured in close-up, we also bring you highlights of Manchester City against Sunderland, and our guests are Ian Ewer, the Arsenal number five, and our Golden Goals competition winner, Arthur Lindor. At Highbury yesterday, there was another chance for George Graham to confirm his recent good form in midfield in an Arsenal side that seems to have recovered well from that shattering experience against Swindon at Wembley. It's a side that has played seven times since then without defeat. But Leeds are top of the table. They are formidable opposition, spurred on, as always, by their superb little captain, Billy Bremner. Leeds came to Highbury without injured Jack Charlton, so Paul Maidley now moves to number five and 19-year-old Mick Bates comes in at eight. Now the crowd of 43,000 is waiting in the wind and the sunshine for referee K.H. Burns to get Arsenal's last home game of the season underway. So Leeds United cruising remorselessly, it seems, towards the First Division Championship kickoff in White Shirts, defending that goal to our right. And Maidley, the number five who's come in for the injured Jack Charlton, quickly doing the job that he's supposed to do at the back for Leeds. Leeds top of the table, Arsenal lying in third place with 52 points, which incidentally is their best points total at Highbury for 16 years. So it's been a very good season for Arsenal as well as Peter Storey takes this throw. Robertson. Your. George Graham to Armstrong. And a good little cross by Armstrong. Oh, impeccable handling by Welsh International Gary Sprake. Oh, but not a very good kick, and that is one of his weaknesses. He's not one of the best kickers of the ball. Bremner fouled by Armstrong. And Gary Sprake, incidentally, who was born in the same street in Swansea as that great former Arsenal goalkeeper, Jack Kelsey. Gary Sprake, here's Bremner. Fiery little man who drives leads on. McClintock chased by Giles, but finding Wilson. John Samuels, Graham. He's got McNabb up with him in support. Samuels running into the middle. Here's McNabb. Gould is aiming for this one and misjudged very badly indeed by Sprague and Sprague has found Gould clearly a punch now what's Mr Burns going to do now that really was a terrible punch by Sprague he panicked after missing that cross ball Gould absolutely flattened Well, it's going to be very interesting to see what Mr Burns does now with Gary Sprake. Because to me, that looked a full-blooded punch at goal. Goal is still flat out. Getting treatment from George Wright. And the referee now is going to have a word, as he must... He looks as though he might be taking Gould's name. Well, he saw something that we didn't see, but he is putting Gould's name into the book. And now here is the referee and Gary Sprake. Well, he's having a very fierce word with Sprake, and it looks as though Sprake is going to have his name put in the book. And he might well feel that he's been very luckily let off. And certainly a fair section of this Arsenal crowd also feels that 
Alex Brake's punishment should have been a good deal worse than that. But Mr. Burns has taken his name, and that is all. What a terrible start to a game with only five minutes gone and a thing like that. Gary Sprague. Armstrong to Graham. Well, he may well look a little rueful and also, I would think, feel a little relieved. Don Revy, manager of Leeds United. Now you're caught to Story. Robertson and Gould waiting in the middle. Samuels now. Cool and neat. McClintock. Oh, headed on beautifully by Armstrong now for Graham. Gould is going for this one and Samuels. Robertson! Well, he's come here from Tottenham a few months ago and seems thoroughly to be enjoying the life that he's finding at Highbury. Jimmy Robertson. Giles to O'Grady. Mick Jones in the middle. Mike O'Grady played for England this season against France. Mick Bates. Talk to Robertson played wide for Samuels into court finding some useful positions in midfield again today court foul there by Hunter and so it's a free kick to Arsenal Bates Hunter and Giles reading from the right in this Leeds United wall And the referee is saying that he wants them back the 10 yards. McClintock for Samuels to McClintock. McNabb. But so many white shirts back. At least seven, possibly eight there were back in that Leeds United penalty area when Arsenal were taking that free kick. Bob McNabb to George Graham. Quarter of an hour gone. Samuels. And Bates bringing it away. And now the chase is on. Your versus Jones, and Jones is winning it. Beautiful goal by Mick Jones. What a magnificent goal by Jones for Leeds United. The goal of a really class centre forward. <laughs> Completely outstripping Ian Yor for pace and deciding exactly the right moment to slam it wide of Wilson to give Leeds United this one goal lead with about 16 minutes gone. <laughs> Terry Cooper. Well, it's that sort of goal that has put Leeds United where they are, unbeaten now in 23 games, proudly leading the first division by five points, and now a goal ahead against third-placed Arsenal. That really was a magnificent goal. Giles now to O'Grady. And now George Graham for Arsenal. Eddie Gray, and Jones off again.
he really was outstripped by Jones just a moment ago and now McClintock McNabb McClintock again McNabb good running by McNabb but Giles well back it's also worth pointing out for Arsenal that since that disastrous defeat in the Football League Cup final, they've played seven games without defeat. That shows some character that there must be in this club to come back from such a shattering defeat to uh, have quite a reasonable run into the end of the season. Well, good section of Yorkshiremen there, no mistake. Madeley. Giles, beautiful control, but well watched by McClintock. Gould for Armstrong, but the boot of Maidley again. The ball is Leeds United's. Eddie Gray, number 11, leaving it for Norman Hunter. Samuels. Armstrong. A quick little shot there by George Armstrong, number 11. Grady to Gray. Cooper going up the left. Loves to overlap. Johnny Giles. And there's Cooper right up there, you'll notice. Giles. Beautiful play by Giles. Oh, great play. Well, they aren't attacking very often, Leeds United, but my goodness, when they do, there's venom and purpose about every stride. Johnny Giles. McNabb to Graham. Armstrong into Graham again. McNabb. Gould looking for the ball in the middle. Graham. McNabb continuing his run well. Very good positioning there by Bob McNabb. If he could have pulled it back a little more, it might have been more beneficial to Arsenal with two or three red shirts waiting in the penalty area. Clintock back to Wilson. Frank McClintock to Gould. So little room. Graham. At this moment, eight white shirts back in that penalty area. That's the sort of task that's facing Arsenal as McNabb takes it up. And behind, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine Leeds United white shirts were back in that penalty area, plus Gary Sprake, ten players. You get some idea there of the concentration of white shirts back in that penalty area. Half an hour gone then, with Leeds still leading by this one goal to nil. Leeds, in fact, to have a fine defensive record. They've conceded only 25 goals in 37 league games. 
Although Arsenal, in fact, have an even better one. They've conceded only 20 goals in 37 league games. Bobby Gould, always plenty to say for himself, and always Paul Madeley close at hand. You're beating Jones this time. And a chance to beat him again. Shrewdly finding Graham. Don Revy, and on his right, Les Cocker. Peter Lorimer, the substitute at the back. Madeley in quickly. Armstrong, a little bit of space here. Madeley is out of it. Here comes that cross. McClintock following up. Gould is the only white red shirt up. And Bates getting it away. Here's Bates. Incredible to think that Bates has only had two games in the lead side, but he fits in so very well. Strength of a side of good reserves who can fit in at a moment's notice. David Court losing it to Billy Bremner. Gould. Caught in the wind again. And my goodness, the trouble that course break. That ball is catching high in the air each time, and it's so difficult for men to judge it. And Sprake, who could judge it with hands and not with head as other people have to, even he couldn't get hold of it. Paul Madeley, number five, and Hunter in a little bit of pain. Referee is saying, let's get on with the game. <laughs> Mr. Burns is insisting that we get on with the game, that Hunter doesn't stop for treatment. And the cheers of irony as Hunter puts it into touch. Mr. Burns from Stourbridge. A date at Wembley in a fortnight's time for him as a linesman. Frank McClintock. And maybe getting the right side of Gould to get to the ball first. O'Grady, harassed by Story. As soon as the Leeds man gets in trouble at the back, there are so many there to help him. A free kick given against Hunter for that foul on court. And Bremner acting as the peacemaker, telling Graham to get away from Hunter and Hunter to get away from Graham. Here comes that free kick, Armstrong going in, Graham! It's gone. 1-1. George Graham having equalised for Arsenal. He really has come into his own with a number six on his back, George Graham, because he's had a fairly indifferent season up until then. Sometimes in the side, sometimes out of it. But my goodness, he's making an impact in midfield. And Wilson going down from that deflection by Johnny Giles. Here's Graham. The man who scored the equaliser. <laughs> Robertson away. Now, here is a man with pace. Hunter keeping up well with him, though. Good little cross. Gould going in with the volley. Well, I wonder what Lord Howard 
On the right there, shielding his eyes, president of Leeds United and of the FA. I wonder what he thinks of that Arsenal equaliser. Very staunch follower of Leeds. Eddie Gray to Johnny Giles. Gray again. And you're very swift with this challenge. Cooper. Challenged away very quickly by Gould. Good play by Cooper. And he's kept it in. Don now plenty to save for himself again. And John Rad for the substitute at the back. Graham to McNabb. The feelings of a great game in prospect now as McNabb. O'Grady for Leeds United. You're off in chase again, harassed. Almost into giving a corner by Jones. George Graham. McNabb, look at this burst by a fullback there, outstripping that Leeds defence. What a surprise position that must have been for Leeds to find McNabb behind them. Certainly, Leeds are often exploiting this long ball, looking for the speed of Jones. Perhaps feeling that you're maybe a little bit vulnerable to the pace of uh, Mick Jones. There goes another one, testing this time the speed of Ewer against Johnny Giles, and almost there! It's there! Almost a complete repetition of that first goal in the League Cup final against Swindon. A misunderstanding by Ian Ewer, poor dejected Ewer. And Bob Wilson, who really cannot understand how that happened. But the softest of goals that gives Leeds the lead again through Johnny Giles, whose persistence and running made him feel that there was always a chance. Almost an exact repetition of that first goal in the League Cup final. And now here we go again, McClintock now bolstering that middle. McNabb. And now Giles. Finding Jones who's gone to the right, only Gray up in the middle. Bates to Cooper. And you're getting a little bit of bird from the crowd. He's had such an unhappy hand in both those Leeds goals. Finding court, Graham racing on ahead. Almost got through to him as well. Court again challenging. And Maidley beating Graham. Armstrong. Samuels McNabb. Samuels McNabb. And now you're. 
to Samuels. And just watch how Giles there is buzzing around like a bee. Leeds never letting anybody rest on this ball for a moment. Armstrong. A minute to go to half time now. With Leeds having given us so many good examples of what a hard side they are, but also what a busy and what a skillful side they are as well. They never stop running and they never stop fighting, chasing everything and marking very tight indeed in defence. McClintock to Armstrong. And now McNabb. Peter Storey. Samuels up on his right. Caught inevitably waiting in the middle again. Armstrong now. And a dummy there that lets in McNabb. Against the post. What a beautiful dummy by Graham though. And what beautiful positioning by this man, McNabb. And a beautiful dummy by George Graham that opened up the way for McNabb. And Arsenal just a fraction away from getting the equaliser. Gary Sprake. Wynn still playing tricks with the ball. Caught. O'Grady being hustled unfairly by Graham. Free kick to Leeds. Michael Grady. Strategy there between Giles and Bremner and Don Revy giving his piece as well. Johnny Giles, scorer of that second goal. For Leeds United and a goal kick with Wilson. McNabb finding Graham. Didn't have much room to find him either. Court is going for this one and Maidley there as well. And now Mick Jones for Leeds. Losing it to Graham. Finding story. My goodness, Graham is playing well. Gould right up. Robertson right up. And Sprake and Gould continuing their little battle. <laughs> and rubbing each other on the head. Well, they weren't doing that at the start of the game. Cooper. Four leads. And there wasn't anything very positive about that by Terry Cooper.